Welcome to C++ Coding Ninja. Hello everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about if and if else statements. So let's jump into the lesson. So, so for example, in the if statement, if is a condition that means if, so it's just basically if something happens then do do that 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 and that that stuff so let's create our project so let's say we want to make a password machine like where we have some we make a password and we ask for the user to enter the password so the first thing you're gonna need is to include um two variables one of the real password and one of them's going to be the input so let's create the password string string password string password equals double quotes um uh hello let's say hello and then semicolon we'll write another string S string input and we're not gonna write and we're not gonna assign it to anything yet so now what we want to do is we want to ask um see out enter password enter password okay there we go enter password and then see in input there we go so now what we want to do is we want to create an if statement. If now um what so the condition um is always in the these um brackets. So if input equals password. So um the thing over here is that um what the what the eat this equal sign and these double equal signs are very different. The equal sign just means assigning a variable to a variable or a number or string or whatever the type of variable is and this and uh, the double equal means like equals like um for example in conditions they're like um the same like just like in uh, math like one plus two equals three so this that's the kind of equal we are using right now now what you want to do is you want to um create um press the brace button um brace braces yeah the braces and then what you're going to want to do is um just uh write what um just what you're going to do so see out um access accepted accepted so okay so here so that is so if the input equals the password then we'll say um access accepted now if we write another if statement if password um wait sorry um uh, if input does not equal password so what we write is we write um exclamation mark and then equals means not uh, means doesn't equal um password then what we want to do is you want to say see out access denied and then in the end we'll just write return zero return zero so um what we just did is that we defined a, a pa the password we um declared this that uh, about the input we declared the input we asked to input enter the password and then we did the input we um store the input in the variable input so if the input equals password like hello then 
we will allow the user like access accepted if it does not equal password then we will just say access denied return zero so now let's try running the program uh, enter password if i just write um uh some if i don't write hello then it'll say access denied okay and now if i write hello uh it'll say access access accepted however there's one problem with this it's just that it's not that clear because we can make this easier using else so what we, so in order to use else what you just do is you just um type else now we don't need to add any condition because because what happens is that it's kind of like um if input equals password then say um access accepted otherwise on the other hand just say um wait uh on the other hand just say access denied Else, access denied. Oh, sorry. Uh, so now we now we should get this sim, this oh uh, semicolon. We, now we should get um the we should get the same thing. Okay. Now if we write um some other stuff, then we'll say we'll get access denied. And if we write hello. Oh, sorry. Uh. Do that was correct. Uh, hello. Then I'll say access accepted. So that is that is um what if else is um this is a if else will be very important for um programs um so um and also they're pretty simple. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.